Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on Sweet on Succulents with May. I'm May and today I just wanted to share a secu tip with you. Um, we've all come across containers that don't have drainage holes and um, they could be family heirlooms that are valuable and you don't want to drill a hole in them or maybe you don't have a drill or maybe you just don't feel comfortable drilling a hole in your pot um, and you just don't know what to do. So um, in this case, I have this cute contemporary pot. I like it. I don't want to drill a hole in it. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do. So what I first do is I try to get a container that will sit comfortably in this container without being too low or popping out above the rim of the container. So I've taken this Echeveria purpisorum and I've repotted it in a pot that I know will fit into my white ceramic container that does not have a drainage hole. The plastic pot is just a regular plastic pot with drainage holes and I've washed these pebbles. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna see where it sits in this pot. So ideally you wanna do this before you've actually repotted your succulent, but I've repotted it and um, I'm just gonna see where it sits. And um, okay, so you see that's a little too low. You don't really get to optimize viewing time with your succulent. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and um, and sometimes you need just a little assistance. I'm going to grab my tweezers and pull it out. So as you can see, this probably needs to sit a little higher where it bellows out. So I'm going to take these pebbles that I've left and I'm going to just place them inside my container. And I'm going to see if this lifts, lifts it up a little bit more to where the plant sits comfortably in this pot that does not have a drainage hole. And as you can see, it's a little too high, so I'm just going to come here and then let it settle like that, see if that works. Nope, still a little too high. So. And that's just about perfect. So um, that's exactly what I do. And then when you go ahead and um, water this plant, the excess water will drip into the pebbles. And at that point, you can again just simply remove this, pop it out, and hold the pebbles back and drain the soil. You can, of course, wash out the pebbles as well so that there isn't any dirt remaining in there. And um, that's a good way to go. Just drain out the excess water and place your succulent back in the cup. You, you do need to monitor it because if the water levels, like let's say you hose water it and the water exceeds the gravel, the gravel level, um, it will start sitting in the roots of this, your succulent. So you'll definitely want to check to see what the water reserves are in this container and dump them out um, so that you don't have too much water in your succulent and your succulent, um, so it doesn't make your succulent start losing leaves and your succulent won't die of root rot and that's it please comment below with any questions that you may have and i'll try my best to answer them again thank you so much for your support through liking commenting subscribing and sharing happy planting